All right, everybody, let's get these, uh, let's brush cleaned up before it freezes really hard. Oh, what's this? Oh, there you are. Hi, John. It's been a while since we've seen you. Joking aside, <laughs> all, right. all right, it's been a while. Um, a lot's happened in the last, gosh, only a year, almost a year now. Um, not, not that long, but still, it's been a while. Um, we've had a lot of, uh, I guess we've had a lot of hardships this year, and then we've had a lot of blessings this year, and uh, we've seen some new life, we've had some death. Um, lots of new life this year, and uh, so hopefully we can walk around and uh, show you guys all the new things that have been happening. So one of the first things I wanted to show you guys was actually we've done a lot more clearing. Um, our uh, some of you guys might remember in our earlier videos. Here, let me turn here. Um, the our five acre lot here is actually really well wooded, and. So we had a, I mean, it's a blessing in a way because we have so much wood, but then it, it's, it's a lot of work to move the trees. So where I'm standing right now is actually where uh, we ended up finishing clearing our first winter here, or our second winter here. And as you can see behind me here, we we're actually not even all the way down to the end of the property yet. And we've cleared all the way here and we got a group of trees over here to the, uh, my my left here, your right. Um, that is actually where we're gonna hopefully build our home later on, uh, maybe this next coming spring. But um, a lot of that is cleared out in the back there. It might be a hard kind of kind of hard to see, but uh, we did a lot more clearing this year, and we've done a lot of building. So let's get to that. So one of the new things I said uh, earlier on is that we've had a lot of new life this uh, this year. And uh, beside the barn that got built this last year, <laughs> I don't think you guys ever got to saw, or, or see rather. We, um, I don't think you guys ever got to see the barn. We'll, we'll go in there in a second. But uh, one of the new pieces of life here is our, our female Akita here, Miss Mamushka. And uh, she's a very loving puppy as you can see. But um, we, we got here, her this last winter um, after, uh, a couple things that happened to us and uh, she's a very loving dog and hopefully between her and our other male Akita uh, we'll have some full-blood Akita puppies here maybe this next year so but we'll get to that too but as you can see we have a full-fledged barn behind us and uh, at the moment it's planned that this was only gonna be a third of the barn um, where I'm standing is gonna be kind of the middle and on the other behind me here would be the other other third now on the inside of the barn you guys might have remembered, or might remember, that we had a female pig. Ooh, it's getting dark in here all of a sudden. It's loud, too. Let's see how the light might help. So, here's our female pig, Matilda. You guys can see her around here. Now, Matilda's had kind of a rough life, <laughs> but a happy life. And uh, we've got her, and hopefully we'll have some babies with her this upcoming year as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But then over here, we had, um, this is our male boar. Come on up here, swine lord. No? Usually he likes to jump up on that beam here. But, uh, so we got them, um, and they're doing pretty well. We've got them inside the barn right now because it's getting cold. It's, you know, it's winter's here and stuff's freezing. Uh, we got our other pig here, the, the Frankfurter, who's uh, been kind of a stinker lately, but we still love him. 
Uh, he's out here gardening everybody. Top of that, um, we had to separate them, but uh, we got this brooding box from a, a lady out here. And uh, we got four ducks in there. Hopefully you guys can kind of see those ducks in there. Now we had to separate them because they kept spilling the water from the chickens. You know, ducks and water, right? But um, on top of that, speaking of chickens, is here is our pen for the chickens here. And we are close to about 40 chickens at this point. They're not, all, uh, we're only getting about two eggs a day at the moment because they're all pretty young still. Uh, but we got some good big roosters in there and they're kind of taking care of everyone. They all got their roosts and stuff. Um, but it's getting to be, we're starting to get a quite a good number of eggs. Uh, of course we want more, but you know. Um, I just recently put in these lights um, inside because once we re put up the plastic, it was getting pretty dark in here. I um, mean, you know, chickens need light, and with it being cold, buildings kind of come to a standstill at the moment, and so we just want to make sure they have nice and enough light. Um, but these lights are actually us like a standalone system with uh, some of the older solar stuff that we had going on. Uh, this is just a little charge controller that I bought off of Amazon. Um, some more 12 volt shenanigans. Um, they, you know, chickens got their own light here, switch off right here. Um, this switch is for the pigs and uh, our other life on the other side. Let's go see them. All right, so this is our other bit of life this year. As, as you can see, she's very excited. She thinks I'm going to give her some food. But uh, we have two goats here, and um, the black one here, I'm pretty sure, as you can see, she's getting a little bit bigger on her right-hand side here. Uh, I think she's going to have babies here in maybe December-ish, which, I, honestly, I was not wanting. <laughs> we wanted a little bit later in the year, but, uh, or earlier, how, depending on how you look at it. But this is Oreo. And Oreo, she's a pretty good goat. And that is Brownie. Yeah, our kids got to name them, so. But uh, <laughs> they're pretty good goats. They're fun. Um, but again, they're they're in here. They got their own pen um, with a, a bit of light from over there. And uh, you know, there's Frankie going off at something. But uh, they're all nice and comfy in there now. Uh, we got them in there uh, again because it's getting winter it's getting cold uh probably by next spring we'll have a nice fenced in portion out here uh, outside the barn that they can all be kind of running around in uh, some of you guys might recognize this pile of rubble here that was uh actually the first pig pen that we had um it's kind of really derelict now and we're just tearing it down but we have that out here and uh we can see this is our big wood pile that we had. We got some more random bits. And uh, that one right there. You see that little little animal right there? That's uh, another portion of uh, the new life that we had this year. All right, everybody. So this is one. Oh, hi, hi, hi. No. The, uh, this little girl here is called Svetlana. And uh, she is a mix between our full blood <laughs> she wants to get down uh she's a mix between our full blood akita and her mom which we actually got from uh some friends out here you you will probably recognize them they they helped us put in our our little sand point uh more on that later but um we got this little black fox looking dog here i lovingly refer to her as rat dog so this little dog here had six puppies with that big old boy right over there. Yeah, he, he knows I'm talking about him. But <laughs> um, our big old teddy bear here um, got to her in a moment of freedom. Yeah, so a moment of freedom and uh, teddy bear here got that little black fox pregnant with six babies and this guy here is marshall and there's another one running around chase and then there's one called biscuit and biscuit is my daughter's puppy of the of the bunch 
uh, Svetlana is my puppy, and Marshall is my younger son's puppy, and then this guy here is Chase, and Chase is my older son's puppy. Hi there, Chase. Oh, you silly pup. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> kind of cold air. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of life this year. We had a lot of uh, adventures. Um, and now I am standing next to another new addition to the homestead, which is the woodshed slash wood shop. <laughs> uh, it's a good spot to hold some of my tools, keep them out of the rain. And in this section right here, we have a loft up above here, and then down in this lower half of this quadrant, if you want to call that, um, this half of the half building is uh, a lot of our wood storage for a winter. Now this wood storage is enough, I believe it holds almost six and a half quarts, I think. I think it's around six, six and a half cords of wood um, once it's fully stacked up in there from floor to ceiling. Miss Svetlana here loves to follow me around everywhere. Um, aside from that, um, we've done a lot of wood or uh, work here on the side. So yeah, we've done a lot of work here on the side of the house and don't mind all the the junk everywhere we're we're moving everything up and cleaning up a little bit before winter um we built this little tiny little lean-to for uh our propane last year uh, we had it up against the house uh everything was on the outside so we don't have to worry about it too much but the issue we had was uh you know on the warmer days we kept having runoff from the roof falling down on the regulators and stuff down here and uh causing them to freeze um, let alone it started getting really hard to get to them in the middle of winter with all the snow buildup. So, well, hopefully that little lean-to will help alleviate that a little bit. We got another one on the other side of the house now for the, the generators. Um, we had a lot of changing on generators this year, um, but... And I'm pretty sure you guys might have seen this already, but this is the little in Arctic, quote unquote, Arctic entryway to the house. Uh, of course, we got stuff everywhere right now. Again, it's winter time, so we're kind of trying to clean everything up, move some stuff out of the house, move stuff into the house, that kind of stuff. But um, one last physical addition that we've had to the property. Uh, I'm sorry, that sun's right behind me. Is a somewhat work in progress but we have ta -da, a root cellar <laughs> i feel like i'm in some kind of horror movie um <laughs> so <laughs> this is our root cellar um it, you know it, it's just made out of timbers um it's probably not gonna last forever i know that but uh, it also looks like some weird mine shaft coming back out of here but um, I think it'll last long enough for us to put some food down here, um, keep our house a little more organized during the winter and summer. And uh, it's really good for all, uh, some potatoes and stuff that we got back here. Uh, some of these like were from our harvest actually from our own potatoes, especially these ones right here. It doesn't look like there's all that much in here, but they're a good little bit. And uh, some good harvest this year for potatoes. And uh, well, it might not seem like all that impressive, you know. I think our little our little root cellar is doing a pretty good job. Um, it's got its little quirks, but you know, it was a, it was a project that we took on a little later on in the year, and uh, yeah. All right, so for the last portion of our video here, I'm just gonna sit down for a second. Um, talk about some of the more negative things perhaps that happened this year the the major one um, at least affected me the most was uh this last december um actually it was i believe it was january 
or I'm sorry, December 1st, December 2nd, um, I actually, I broke my leg. Um, we, at the time, uh, and since then we, we, we've <laughs> reconfigured uh, our sleeping quarters, but we were sleeping in a loft and I, uh, um, I had to climb down the ladder in the middle of the night and, uh, I ended up my, I lost my, my footing and fell off the ladder. Uh, I, it, it's not all that high. It's only about like seven, eight feet, but at some point in somewhere, my foot got caught and my whole foot actually went sideways. Um, and, uh, I broke my, uh, my fibula bone. Um, and that's the bone that uh, you guys can't see, I'm gesturing with my leg. That's the bone that's right here underneath your calf. And uh, as you can see, there you guys, and the, and the faint of heart look away. No, uh, it's not that bad anymore. But uh, as you can see, the, uh, the scar has shrunk considerably, but um, it, you know, it starts from about here and actually goes all the way down to the, the ball of my ankle. And, um, the reason that was was because I, I, I broke that bone pretty bad. And uh, the, the funny part of that story is that um, my wife hadn't seen me without a beard in years. And so on December 1st, I think it was, um, uh, it's either December 1st or very end of November, I, uh, I shaved off my beard, my mustache, everything went completely, completely bald faced. Oh, oh, I got a puppy <laughs> pushing on it on the camera here. Um, but uh, hey, Marshall, this is another one of our little pups here. Oh, he's the he's the biggest one. But uh, this is Marshall here, my younger son's puppy. He's a sweetheart too. But, uh, yeah, so as a surprise for my wife's birthday, I ended up, I shaved off all my facial hair. I uh, went completely clean shaven. I went from looking like an old man to a young guy again. And um, ended up uh, breaking my legs. <laughs> my leg uh, two days later. And uh, well, my wife and I kind of joked I, I angered the all father or something. But um, <clears throat> joking aside, it... it um, was a, a bad enough break that the doctors didn't think I was going to supposed to be a walk again for, I think they said like eight months or so. Hey, no. Marshall, no. Hang on a second. All right, where was I? <laughs> um, yeah, so the doctor said, uh, sorry about that, we had some puppies attacking a wire over there. Um... Aside from that, the doctor said I wasn't supposed to be able to walk for like eight months to a year or something like that. And um, luckily, I have a very supportive wife and older daughter, and my kids pitched in a lot. Um, we ended up having, uh, we ended up burning a lot of our wood supply earlier on in the winter um, with me not being able to, to move around so well. They ended up putting a plate in my leg. Um, and, uh, but now I'm moving around fine again. And, um, the, like I said, my wife and my daughter was very supportive at the time and are, are still, and, um, we, we made it through that winter and uh, into spring, uh, I started walking around better, had a little boot for a while and finally got out of that and had an ankle brace for a time after that, and now I'm just back to normal walking. And, uh, but in the meantime, we've come across some new technology and some new, uh, new things to help heat our house that I will love to share with you guys in the upcoming videos. And yes, videos will start coming again more regularly. Um, we got a lot to go over, a lot to talk about, and, uh, so again, sorry for the, the lapse there. I think with the bro breaking of my leg and winter being kind of rough this last winter for us, um, videos kind of just kind of fell to the wayside. But uh, I think uh, going forward, things should be good and uh, more videos will start coming out. And so hopefully you guys will enjoy and thanks for watching. See ya.